guys welcome back okay so as you can see this is going to be a video where you're really just seeing a good portion of my palette collection um you know this time of year a lot of us content creators youtubers kind of <laughs> are making the decision are we going on a low buy are we going on a no buy you know what are we going to focus on for the upcoming year things like that me personally I try to say I'm going on a no buy or a low buy, but it never works. So I'm not even going to say that. That's not happening this year. <laughs> but what I do like to do is go through my collection, you know, and I'm very familiar with my collection because I do visit it pretty much every day. But I like to kind of go through my collection, kind of see what type of palettes that I really gravitate towards and that's kind of what this video is about because I just kind of noticed that I have a type <laughs> or I have several types I should say I love all makeup palettes eyeshadows singles all that good stuff but there are certain color stories that I gravitate to quite a bit. So in this video, I'm just kind of going through some of my palettes that I feel have the same type of color story, the same type of feel, theme to them. They're not the exact same, but you know, you kind of get the same type of feel from them. So while this isn't a palette collection video, you will be seeing a lot of my palettes in this video. Um nowhere near all of them but a lot of them and I think what I'm gonna do since I have needed to do a palette collection video for quite some time is I'm going to film this video showing my palettes that have like the same type of color story and then while my palettes are still kind of in disarray and all over the place I'm just going to pull all the rest of my palettes and do a continuation type palette collection video so if you want to see my whole collection you'll need to watch both of these videos so let's just go ahead and get started I've been talking long enough now, the first color story that I have here is one that I call the sunset theme or the sunset feel. So you'll get an idea of what I mean when I start off showing you these palettes. So the first palette that I have here is my Certify Affinity palette. Let me move these out of my way. But this is my Certify Affinity palette and very, very beautiful palette. Let me show you what it looks like. This is what this palette looks like. So this is basically the epitome of what I would call like a sunset or sunrise type color story. Very, very pretty. Has the purples, the orange, the yellow, you know, a very beautiful color story that I gravitate to quite often. Now in this same color story type feel, this Pinky Rose Luscious Plum, another very, very beautiful palette that I have in my collection. It doesn't have a super bright yellow in it, but it definitely has the same feel with the purple, orange, and that kind of tan shade with a couple of neutral shades thrown in as well. Next I have here from Cara Beauty, this is the Purple Haze. Once again, <laughs> that same color story. Now this one is a little bit more muted, the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice. It's not as bright and bold as the other ones, but definitely has the same color story, same feel to it with the purple, pink, and gold. Those neutrals in there along with some beautiful shimmers. This one here, I really didn't think about until I pulled it. This is the Uma Beauty Carnival palette. And it is a very, very pretty colorful palette as well. Does have those same shades, purple, orange, yellow, and pink. Couple of neutrals in there. And I'm noticing also with this color story, they also like to throw in that pop of green, you know, whether it's shimmer or a matte, but it goes well with these type of shades. Next, I have here another palette from Cara Beauty. I really love the color stories they come up with. This one is called Summer Stunna. <laughs> Same type of color story here as you can see. Very, very pretty. And this one has that pop of green in there as well. Their artwork is gorgeous. This here is a palette from ColourPop. I don't even know the name of this, some type of butterfly palette, but it's one that they actually created 
with their single shadows. And I'm sure you can see why I felt like this palette was absolutely gorgeous. I feel like there's way too many glitters in here, <laughs> but I do like glitter. But yeah, they could have chilled out a little bit with the glitters, but they're very, very pretty. But it's the same basic color story that I was drawn to. Next, I have here this gorgeous palette <laughs> that was sent to me from Nomad Cosmetics. I love them. This is the Cartagena Magica palette. Look at that artwork. And this is the color story in here. Shimmers, beautiful. Same thing though, purples, orange, pink, and yellow. So, so pretty. Next, I have here this Violet Voss hashtag palette. Don't use this very often, haven't pulled it in quite a while, but I was taking a look at it and I was like, dang, that's the same freaking color story. <laughs> Purple, orange, gold, some pinks in there. This one doesn't have green in it, but same sunset, sunrise type feel. This one, a more affordable brand, which is Profusion. This is their Mirage palette. Profusion has so many different color stories for their palettes, <laughs> and I have quite a few, but this one definitely fits into this color story for me. Very, very pretty. They have uh, quite a few glitters in here as well. Well, it looks like about three. And lastly, in this <laughs> color story, I have my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 with Morphe palette. This one was actually a gift given to me from my girl Lily. Look at this. Look at that. This palette oh, is gorgeous. <laughs> so, so pretty. I really need to use this some more because this is beautiful. But yeah, same sunrise, sunset color story. Okay, so the next color story that I want to take a look at <laughs> that it appears that I buy repeatedly is kind of like the dusty rose neutral type color story and i actually noticed this with a recent palette that i purchased from root cosmetics and i was like i have a few palettes that look like this so i would say the main palette that um had me feeling like okay i buy this color story quite a bit was this Naughty palette, which I still haven't used by the way. I might actually give this to my daughter, I haven't decided yet. But this is the Naughty palette from Huda Beauty, Naughty Nude I should say. And this color story is gorgeous to me. It just is. It is so pretty. Um, You know, I know this palette, people have mixed feelings about it, but I think the general consensus is that it is a really nice palette, beautiful, performs, just amazingly so yeah I'm probably gonna end up keeping this my daughter gonna have to buy her own <laughs> but this is the color story that I'm talking about you know just that dusty rose kind of sometimes a bit mauvey natural neutral type palette so yeah this is the one so I also have this <laughs> Huda Beauty nude rich palette I know she came out with like three different ones and this basically is just a mini version of that naughty nude to be honest with you to me they look exactly alike with some of these shades very very pretty but same color story same feel next I have here from Charlotte Tilbury I, this is not, I really don't buy Charlotte Tilbury palettes. For one, they're super expensive. And for two, I don't know, you know, it's just not really my vibe. But this one, <laughs> for some reason, was just so pretty to me. Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. Just looking at it. I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So yeah, I ended up picking this up, you know, to try out some Charlotte Tilbury shadows. But it's in the basic same color scheme as what I'm talking about. You know, that neutral, dusty rose, you know, sometimes a hint of mauve in there. Very, very pretty though. This is gorgeous. Now, I also picked up this Revolution palette very recently. This is the Forever Flawless Allure. And even when I was looking at this, I was like, dang, 
that looks like a Huda Beauty nude palette. And you know, Revolution is way more affordable than Huda Beauty or <laughs> anybody else. Um, but yeah, these are the shades in here. And I really feel like this is, you know, them trying to dupe one of the Huda Beauty palettes because it looks exactly the same. Very pretty. Next, I have here another Huda Beauty nude. I'm starting to feel like Huda Beauty just repeats the same color story over and over again. <laughs> so this is like the same thing, except this one is more mauve -y. But the feel of it is just very, very similar. I mean, her shimmers are absolutely gorgeous. Mattes are nice. You know, I'm pretty much sick of the glitters in palettes at this point, but... You know, it's just the color story is just really, really pretty, very appealing to me. And it's funny because I really don't do eye looks with these colors, but the color story is gorgeous. So this is Sigma Corderosa. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. This palette is so beautiful. It's like, I don't even want to use it. It's so gorgeous. Look at those shades. Same color story, but absolutely beautiful. And lastly, this is the palette, like I said, <laughs> that made me say, wait a minute, I'm buying the same palette over and over again. This Roaring Twenties Carefree Palette from Rude Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. <laughs> now you tell me this is not a Huda Beauty dupe, okay? This is like a dupe of all of her palettes combined. Absolutely gorgeous. But obviously, I'm in love with this color story. Now, this next color story is one that I am not surprised that I'm drawn to at all because I love blues and I love greens. So these palettes in my collection happen to have a blue-green theme to them. And in this video, I'm not really doing, you know, color theme palettes like blues greens, purple, stuff like that. I'm more so focusing on color stories, you know, or a type of theme or feel for these palettes. So these are all blue-green palettes. <laughs> now, this is another Cara Beauty palette. This is the Girl Scout. When I saw this palette, <laughs> I fell in love with it. And it was sold out for quite a while, but I was able to get my hands on it when it came back. But yeah, this blue-green palette gorgeous next i have here a nomad palette this is the late como palette another one of my blue green favorites this is what this palette looks like very highly pigmented i love 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 this palette it performs so well so gorgeous this was another gift sent to me from nomad cosmetics and i was so surprised when they sent it to me it's beautiful now, this one here is The Reason from DJ's Unique Boutique. If you guys follow me regularly, you know this is one of my besties here on YouTube. She does have a channel. This is her holiday palette for this year. And as you can see, beautiful blue-green themed palette. And it performs amazing. <laughs> okay, so yeah, she did send this to me. I did buy a few, gave a few out. But yeah, she sent this to me and this is an amazing blue-green palette, okay? Next, this is new to my collection. I actually got this in my Boxy Lux. I haven't gotten my Boxy Premium this month. But I got this in my Boxy Lux. This is from Hip Dot. And this is the, what, C-Note palette, it looks like. So I haven't really been able to explore this one that much. And this one, while mainly being a blue palette, it does have that pop of teal in the center, which kind of gives me, you know, that blue-green feel. Also got some golds in here as well. Very pretty, but really the packaging is just like, <laughs> this is a blue-green palette. This one, reigning favorite for years and years, Ace Beauté. Oceanic palette. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, if you know, you know. This palette is so bomb, so beautiful, just gorgeous. Any look I create with this, I love it. Okay, but I definitely, definitely fell in love with blue green palettes because of this palette here. I also have this elf palette. This is their Earth and Ocean palette. And 
I forget about this palette. A lot of my drugstore palettes I kind of have in a certain section. I don't really use drugstore palettes that often, but I actually forget about this palette a lot. And it's actually a really, really pretty palette. Very gorgeous blue green. It's not super bold, super bright, but it still creates beautiful blue or green or combination eye looks. Next, I have here my Revolution Color Book. This one is 05. Um, definitely a blue green palette. Uh, the shadows in here, while they are gorgeous, um, and I was able to create beautiful looks with it, it's not my favorite. <laughs> you know, it's not the best formula in the world, but if you're looking for, you know, a palette with a lot of variety that's affordable, you know, you can start out with this one, but I definitely have better formulas in my collection. What I like about this palette is that you do have your matte side and you have your shimmer side. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, not the best formula. And lastly, in this blue green uh, family is another certified palette. This is the Affinity 2 O M G. <laughs> you guys see this? Look at this palette. Gorgeous. And can you believe I have not used this palette yet? Another palette in my collection that I forget about quite often, but this mug is beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, so the next color story that I wanted to talk about is basically like the purple and pink color story. You know, those shades together. Um, it's a very valentine-esque romantic type of color story and i noticed that i do gravitate to palettes like that <laughs> so let's take a look at what i have now this is a new palette to my collection that i actually purchased from the boxy pop-up shop or whatever this is the alomar spanglish i was surprised it was in there because it was i think a newer palette um when they had the pop-up so I was surprised that this was in there, but this palette here, you know, it has that beautiful pink and purple vibe going on. Not quite the sunset vibe because it doesn't have, you know, the yellow in here as well, but these colors, very, very pretty, pink and purple. Next, I have this pink palette from Pink Lips Cosmetics. My girl DJ turned me on to this brand. She actually did a video using this palette and so did my girl Lily. I don't remember if it was around Valentine's Day or what, but they definitely knocked out some beautiful looks with this palette. Same type of feel, that kind of Valentine pink and purple type palette. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at those shimmers, you guys. Look at that. Now, these two palettes, <laughs> very new to my collection. I just bought these in my last haul, and they're very, very similar to me. This one is the Berry Royal Palette, and it's from Clarity Cosmetics. Absolutely gorgeous, packaging beautiful. And this is actually a pressed pigment palette. So this has like that pinky purple feel to it, but this shade here, super, super dark, dark, plum but when you think of like the peeling of a plum you know that's the kind of color I think about because they're so deep and dark but absolutely gorgeous beautiful pink purple toned palette so this one here is the vivid rose from give me glow cosmetics give me glow has some amazing color stories amazing shadows super super beautiful look at those shimmers you guys <laughs> this is a palette that I tried to fool myself saying I wasn't going to get it. Oh, I could dupe it, yada, yada. I don't even know why I wasted my breath. This palette is so gorgeous and there's no way in the world I could resist buying it. It's so beautiful. Pink and purple theme. This is the palette that I tried to talk myself out of the Vivid Rose with. This is the Sweet Valentine from Lorella. And while it is an absolutely gorgeous beautiful pinky purple tone palette um definitely more affordable i believe but this is a very very beautiful pink and purple color story gorgeous and the shimmers look at those shimmers and lastly in this color story i have another perfusion this is called the love struck palette 
and <laughs> this palette is so pretty i couldn't tell you guys how tired i am of seeing glitter but you know i just kind of have to maneuver my way around the glitter but this palette so gorgeous beautiful pink and purple color story from profusion cosmetics okay so aside from the blue green color story this is probably my next most favorite color story of palettes that i gravitate towards this is the blue green purple color story when you add that little purple in there with that blue and that green it just turns it into something else so this here is my azure allure palette from sosu and cle makeup the names are just too much <laughs> too much to be saying but i picked this up from beauty bay and when i saw it on there i was like yo now that is a beautiful color story look at that just deep beautiful gorgeous blues purples and greens i love this this is so pretty i really really need to play with this because i'm curious about the formula but it's beautiful next i have here my exotic peacock from pinky rose this is um one of the palettes that kind of first made me fall in love with the blue purple and green type of color story these came out, you know, quite a while ago, but absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love this palette. It's beautiful. Now, this palette is new to my collection. It was gifted to me. I was really, really bummed that I was not able to pick this up while it was out, you know, while Blush Tribe was still Blush Tribe. Now they're my Ollie Beauty, so they're not even Blush Tribe anymore, but I really was kicking myself for not grabbing this. I mean, people love this palette and the color story is absolutely gorgeous. This one is really pretty because this one actually, you know, doesn't have the blue in there, but that purple and green mixed in with that pink, absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love it. But people love this palette, have raved about it. So I was really, really thankful that it was sent to me as a gift. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know slightly used but i didn't mind i was like i am really really happy to have it so yeah very very beautiful just missing that blue now this one here the celestial storm from dominique cosmetics <laughs> got a lot of mixed reviews i actually really liked it when i used it it worked out you know really well for me i didn't have any issues with it but this color story the purple the blue turquoise there's a few neutrals in there that kind of, you know, add that extra dimension and versatility to this palette that I really, really love. But this palette is gorgeous. And I like the fact the shimmers in here are not like super duper bold and potent. You know, they're kind of like topper type shimmers and you kind of build them up. But I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Now this, definitely new to my collection. <laughs> this one is... The Beauty Bay Book of Magic just got this palette this year came out and I love this palette it's gorgeous it's beautiful I knew the moment I saw it that I wanted it and this mug is so affordable when it goes on sale you can get it for like nine bucks it is just so so bomb and the quality is amazing pigmentation amazing but the blues and purples together gorgeous and that black in the center perfect now, this palette I've had for quite a while. I don't even know if this brand is still in business. Rose Glam B Boutique. This is the Enchanted Forest. My girl Lily turned me on to this brand. And they had like some amazing deals <laughs> um, for their palettes. But as you can see, it has the blue, the purple, the green, the shimmers to go along with the mattes beautiful beautiful color story i really need to use this because i'm curious about the quality on this but it's gorgeous next here i have another perfusion this is an older one from my collection called the wonderlust and blues greens purples creates a very beautiful eye look you can do you know monochromatic looks as you can see because you have the green 
the blue and the purple mattes as well as shimmers. They threw a pop of pink in there and some neutrals to help give you some variety. Um, I, I really like the looks that I created with this. Like I said, not the best formula I have in my collection, of course, because they're very affordable, but same beautiful color story. Now this palette here, <laughs> one of my pride and joys. This is from Lick and Lash Beauty. I never understood this pink packaging. Sorry about the you know dirt on there. This one is very hard to keep white and pink palettes clean. But this is a playful palette, and I love this palette. I could just sit and just look at this palette quite honestly, because the color story is so amazing. <laughs> The purples, the greens, the blues. It just looks so gorgeous together. It's very aesthetically pleasing, as they say, to my eyes. You even have a little bit of like peachy orange coral type shades in there as well. I really love this palette. It's beautiful. Next, I have here a Cara Beauty palette. Now, this palette here, what is this called? This is the Drama Queen um i love this bright green packaging it's pretty but this palette here has blues greens purples in it but you also get a nice variety of you know warm tone nude shades some oranges yellows just to kind of help you know to balance out this large palette beautiful pinks in there as well but I definitely am drawn to this because of, you know, the blues, purples, and that beautiful pop of like neon green in there. So, so pretty. And the Car Beauty shadows perform very, very nice. <laughs> very nice for an affordable brand. They're definitely more affordable. So I like Car Beauty. And lastly, I almost forgot about this giant palette <laughs> that I got this year. From P. Louise, this is my worldy palette. As you can see here, the sand moves around in there. Very cool. But this is my worldy palette. And if I can get this big thing open. Yeah, it definitely has, you know, that same color scheme with the blues, the purples, and the greens. Some nice... Um, neutrals in there to kind of balance it out you get an orange some beautiful shimmers but same basic color story just that one purple in there just turns it into a blue green purple palette for me <laughs> and i love it now these are some palettes that kind of gave me the same feel with the green and the purple not necessarily mixed with blue but, you know, just kind of giving me the same type of feel. Now, this is from Ruby May Cosmetics. This is the Purple Kush. This is new to my collection as well, but definitely has that purple and green feel to it. Beautiful, beautiful color story. This one is actually from Amore Us very affordable brand um, and their shadows are really nice this one is a pressed pigment palette called nala and while this one has you know a lot of filler shades you know it has a lot of neutrals in here some glitters and stuff as well it's still a very very beautiful like green and purple color story it has more of the like plum tone purples down on that bottom row some beautiful earthy greens in there with neutrals to play with as well so if you like like the purple and green color story but not super duper bright this is something that you might actually really really like it's very very pretty and then lastly kind of in that purple and green type color story this is one of my morphe palettes which one is this the 35m boss mood <laughs> I love this palette, okay? <laughs> Whenever I think about beautiful grungy greens, I always think about this palette. Once again, the beautiful purples down at the bottom mixed in with some orange shades. So yeah, this palette is gorgeous as well and it performs very, very nicely um, for you know a Morphe palette. Now getting away from the purples and blues, I do have quite a few palettes in my collection that have kind of like the green and neutral type feel to it. Um, 
and I didn't really realize that I liked that color story so much. I noticed um, palettes that have like neutrals with a pop of green or a pop of teal. Very, very interesting to me, <laughs> apparently. Now, this Butter London palette is actually one. I didn't purchase this, but I did get it from BoxyCharm. And it's funny because I believe, um, what's the name on this palette? I don't even know the name of this palette. But, yeah. But I got it in my BoxyCharm and I believe I gave it away. And then I was kind of sad that I gave it away. So when I saw it in the pop-up, I decided to pick it up <laughs> for myself. So, okay, here, it's called The Natural Goddess. But yeah, if you can see that there, very pretty. I like the blend of earth tones with greens and teals. So pretty. This one here is from Ace Beauté. This is the Classical Paradise. It was part of their... I don't know what the collection was called, but it was like a, a grouping of three or four palettes that they came out with. Now, this one has like a lot of like burgundy red tones in it, but it's like my eye is always drawn to that pop of green, that like grungy green shade up at the top. For some reason, I just, whenever I look at this palette, it's like, okay, it has that grungy green in there. <laughs> very, very pretty though. Next, I have my Glam Light Pizza Palette. This is the Veggie Lovers. Have not used this yet, but yo, look at this. I'm trying to get this mirror out the way. Look at the colors in here. That green and neutral palette and those shimmers. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is why I love going through my collection because it just reminds me of the beautiful makeup that I have that I need to use. So this year, you guys expect to see um, a lot of, what do you call them, makeup tutorials <laughs> mixed in with my content because I have got to use these palettes. This is from Alamar Cosmetics as well. This is the Reina del Caribe. Came in my boxy charm and this palette, people loved this palette. They felt like this was just the bomb.com. I think I swatched mine, but never actually used it. Very, very pretty. But that gorgeous neutral palette with a top pop of teal, you know, green in there. Beautiful. Now, this palette here is from Revolution, Revolution London. This was part of their Wild Animal Collection. This one is called Courage. I actually picked up all three of these and did a video using the bright colorful one. But as you can see... Here, this one has the neutral shades, pop of green. There's some pinks in there as well. But when I think of this palette, I always think about the beautiful neutral shades and that pop of green in there. So yeah, it's not my favorite as far as formula wise at all, but beautiful color story. This one here is from Cuesta Cosmetics a new indie brand that I found out about this year. This one is called the Booty Full Palette. <laughs> very, very beautiful fall themed palette. And, you know, it has the neutral pop of green in there, but the yellow and the orange kind of help to balance it out. So, so pretty, but definitely drawn to those neutrals those greens. I love that there's a black in there and a yellow too. So very pretty. This one here, also new to my collection, Boxy Charm. In their Boxy pop-up, they had quite a few of the OPV Beauty palettes. This one, the Tropical Dream, was one that I had been drooling over for what seems like years. And their pricing is a little bit high. So when I saw this on the boxy pop-up, I was like, what? <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I paid for this, but honey, I got a really good deal on this. So these are the colors in here. Let me see if I can, there we go. Just that, it has that reflective background. It's kind of annoying, but the greens, neutrals, those blues in there, of course, I'm drawn to those, but the greens in here, so, so pretty on that top row, that pop of bright green, that yellow green in the center. This palette is beautiful. So yeah, I was really, really 
excited to see this in the boxy pop-up because i was like what i've been dying to buy this palette but sometimes i'm cheap <laughs> now this palette here amazing from colored rain this is their safari rain palette i think they had brought it back one time and it's like gone for good or something now i don't know don't quote me but this is what this palette looks like hopefully you can see that you know the glare is a bit much but neutrals with that pop of green and the orange to balance it out this palette uh pretty and oh my goodness quality is amazing with this palette the looks you get so beautiful so if it is still available i would definitely recommend this palette but i don't know if it is next i have here the avocado toast i was definitely definitely drawn to this palette because it has like those different unique shades of green in there the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous the neutrals help to balance it out. There's a nice black in there, but I think what really attracts me is those shimmers, those different green shimmers in there, so pretty. Next I have here my Pinky Rose Sunflower Palette, another palette that I kind of forgot about. And this one more so than the neutral with the green, it's like the neutral, very, very warm tone with the teal shade in there that blue green and then the purple in there to balance it out but i still you know get the same kind of feel same kind of thoughts when i look at this the warm tone and the neutral with that pop of teal pop of green very very pretty next i have here this Too faced this is a pineapple palette what is this called sparkling pineapple eyeshadow palette i picked these up on sale this one along with that berry one and look at this color story you guys so pretty so gorgeous the neutrals the green the gold from what i understand the quality on these palettes is amazing well i have used the purple one so yeah it actually is amazing but i haven't used this one but it's so so pretty that pop of green just oh i could see that on my lid already now this one here is from Essence. It's called Good Day Sydney. <laughs> and I bought this because I wanted to try out Essence Shadows and I have not used it yet. <laughs> but it's that same neutral with teal, you know, that green gold in there. Um, yeah, I just haven't used it yet, but I am curious if Essence Shadows are any good. Um, but yeah, it's really, really pretty this one here from colored rain this is a smoke show i got this i don't know did i get this in a mystery bag or something i don't know i might have got this in a trend mood box or something but i wasn't really all that drawn to this palette when i first saw it but when i used it i was like wait hold up <laughs> i was just playing around with some shadows one night and i used it and the quality on this was really really nice i really like how it performed but same thing neutral with a pop of green beautiful now this here oh my goodness i'm not really a big lime crime chick but um i decided to buy this when it was on sale this is the prelude chroma and I bought this on sale from Ulta, I believe, and was absolutely shocked at the mattes and the shimmers in this palette. Just amazing. <laughs> okay, amazing. But yeah, the color story, it's just, it's not really neutral with teal, but I am really drawn to like the teal shades in here a lot so yeah i kind of threw this one in this is gorgeous you guys it shimmers out of this world i have this uma beauty palette this one is allure look at that artwork artwork is gorgeous this is the color story for this palette that beautiful pop of teal pop of green in there has some purple and yellow to balance that out as well so it's not very neutral but it still has that pop of green, pop of teal, same type of feel, same color story. Now this one here is from Midas Cosmetics, the High Times palette. I just had to have this palette and still have not used it, you guys. <laughs> 
but yeah I'm going to so this is a color story for this palette same thing it has that teal and green feel to it neutrals balanced out with the orange and the gold so so pretty yeah gorgeous I think that I don't know what it is about this palette that I'm not really moved by I love the colors in here. Maybe it's the gray that kind of turns me off when it comes to this palette, but it's still very, very pretty. And lastly, with this color feel and color story type theme, the Yaya palette from Mayali Beauty. If you're not aware, Mayali Beauty used to be Blush Tribe. So this is one of their newer palettes that they came out with. And this is the color story. Now, this one here is one of my absolute favorites as far as the neutral with the teal and green pops in there. Look at that. Oh, trying to get the best angle for you guys without all the glare, but isn't that gorgeous? Oh, she purdy. She purdy. Okay, so now that we've gotten through <laughs> all of my Papa Green, Papa Teal themed palettes that I really, really love, Let's look at another type of palette or feel of palette that I love, which is grunge, okay? I know everybody has like a different definition of what grunge is to them, but when I think of grunge, I think of like deep, dark, bold, smoky, mysterious, <laughs> you know, stuff like that, where when I look at the palette, I just want to... Just throw something dark in my outer corner and deep in my crease and just kind of smoke it out. <laughs> That's what it, I think about when I think grunge. So these palettes make me feel that way. You know, when I pick them up, I don't want to do anything nice and soft. I want to do something deep, dark, and mysterious. Now, the Urban Decay Born to Run, okay? I know everybody is familiar with this palette and I love it. <laughs> This palette to me is deep, dark, smoky, grungy. When I open this palette, I don't even see that top row. It's like that top row just disappears, you know, like I don't even see it. All I see is like this. <laughs> it's just the bottom half um, because the colors are so beautiful. But yeah, I definitely think grunge when I think of this palette, when I open it up, it just says, do something dark and smoky woman dark and smoky. Now this palette is probably a surprise to most people as far as me thinking of grunge when I think of this palette. Quite honestly, I really don't know what to do with this palette. This is the Tiny, Tiny Marvels palette. It's the Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace collab. I've only used it twice and both times, I don't know, the quality is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like this palette was really made for me. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, it's like the shimmers in here along with that bottom row. I just, of course, because the shades in here are so light, I'm just automatically drawn to the bottom corner. This, you know, this bottom corner down here. So it's like, I would just grunge my crease up, grunge my outer corner, pop in one of these amazing shimmers and go about my business, you know, it has this beautiful bright purple, but I wouldn't necessarily think of this palette when I'm thinking pastel. Definitely think grungy when I pull this. Absolutely gorgeous, but yeah, I would do a grunge look with this. This is my Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. <laughs> Bars, okay. But yeah, so this palette here has some really nice deep dark smoky shades in here very very neutral palette it also has that green of course which i'm sure is what drew me to this palette but yeah my initial thought for this is go grunge you know go deep go dark smoky as you can pop something pretty on the lid and keep it pushing so yeah i feel grunginess when i see this Next, I have this ColourPop Misunderstood palette. Now, listen. Listen. Do you see those deep, dark shimmers in there? That black, that blue. You know, you got a few light shades in there, but 
I feel like with the color of shimmers that they chose for this palette, they wanted me to go grungy. They wanted me to go smoky, okay? <laughs> That's what this palette says to me. Absolutely gorgeous. I love ColourPop's formula. So yeah, beautiful grungy palette. Next, I have this Milani. This is, what is this palette called? The Gilded Noir. Okay. I really like this palette. <laughs> okay, I really do. Milani does not have like my absolute favorite eyeshadow formula, but these shades in here, these shimmers, listen, y'all know I'm not swatching because this video is ridiculously long already, but the shimmers in this palette, gorgeous. I love it. Beautiful. Definitely grungy to me. This Viseart Dark Matte Palette, I don't even feel like I need to explain why this is grungy to me. <laughs> it just is. It's like a rainbow palette that has been dipped in darkness, okay? It's just deep, dark, warm, rustic. I don't want to do anything bright and light with this. I want to go hard. It's grungy, okay? This palette here at Forest Sight, the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collab. Haven't used this yet. Definitely makes me think of grunginess. <laughs> I love these type of palettes though, you guys. Those colorful palettes that are really deep and dark and not bright. You guys know I love bright colors to the heart, but palettes like this, I love these as well because it's like those colors are gorgeous. Very, very pretty. So yeah, I can't wait to play with this. I was supposed to use this, I think, for my shot, my stash. Haven't used it yet. I've been playing with every other palette under the sun, but this is gorgeous. Now, this is one of the palettes that actually started my love for like grungy type palettes. This is the Ace Beauté Flare Palette. And I don't know if a lot of people see this as being like a grungy type palette, but I do. And I feel like it's probably the greens and the teals, that brown thrown in there, this beautiful, you know, shimmer down here. But although there are some bright colors and bright shades in here, just that bottom row just says, you know, grunge me out, okay? I love it. It's really, really beautiful. Very, very nice palette. Next, I have here the Sample Beauty Prodigy palette. This is the Jewel Toned Edition. Yo, look at this. You see the colors in this palette? Do you see the shimmers in this palette? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. The look that I did with this palette, I do have a video doing a look with this palette. And that was like one of the most intense, deep, dark eyeshadows, I think. Eyeshadow looks that I've done. So, so pretty. But I love this palette. It definitely says grunge to me. Now, this is a palette from Girl Meets Makeup, a brand that I came across this year. Black-owned beauty brand, okay? And she has several different palettes, same style, but different color stories. And this is the fall one. So this is definitely a beautiful fall-themed palette. Look at the colors that she chose for this. That blue, that deep, dark blue shimmer in the corner, the rustic browns and greens in here. It's so gorgeous, but yeah, definitely makes me feel grungy. There's a glitter over there, as you can see. Very pretty. I love this palette. It's gorgeous. Honestly, you guys, I think that aside from my rainbow palettes, the palettes that I feel are grungy to me, I think I have the most of, quite honestly. This one is the Sigma Untamed, also new to my collection. Sigma has some of the most beautiful palettes, okay? Just absolutely gorgeous. Comes with a nice brush, but just the color story in here to me feels grungy. I'm sure it's because of that green, that black, even that dark blue shimmer in there, but that mustard gold, yeah, it definitely gives me like a grungy type feel. I love the whole vibe of this palette. It's actually quite beautiful. <laughs> this one is probably no surprise. My ABH subculture. This is the color story that caused 
great hysteria a couple of years ago. <laughs> it's just, I don't know, it's funny to me just how crazy people go over eyeshadow. It really is. But yeah, this is my subculture. Definitely a grungy palette for me. This one here, oh my gosh, the Milk Cosmetics Impulsive. Look at that, just the shades on the cover just says grunge. Um, this was a gift from my girl Lily. Look at these. Look at this. Look at this. I don't know if I've ever seen this many shimmers in a palette aside from um, the All Shimmer Palette. Because <laughs> it's a gang of shimmers in here. Beautiful bright tones in here as well. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. I can kind of see, you know, with the orange and yellow and bright green in here, it kind of actually gives me the feel of the Vita palette. Um, you know, just kind of the whole melt type feel with that side. But the shimmers in here, definitely very, very grungy, in my opinion. Very grungy. I love this palette. It's gorgeous. I'm talking too much. I got way too many palettes to go through. This is the Revolution uh, Forever Flawless Enchanted. I bought this around Halloween time. Oh, I love this palette, you guys. Look at the packaging. It's gorgeous. And then, hello? Does the packaging not match the inside of this palette? Like, could they have done a better job? Oh, my goodness. Look how gorgeous these shades are. Yeah, I need to use this, like, post taste real fast <laughs> this is the epitome of grungy to me though blue green black brown deep dark shimmers grunge in a palette the gemini <laughs> obviously from melt cosmetics gorgeous gorgeous palette i think i've only used this once actually um i know some people really hate uh melt formula i'm one of those that actually really loves it this is really pretty, really, really pretty to me. Definitely grungy to me. Now this Natasha Denona Metropolis palette, listen, this palette is not the easiest to work with, okay? It's just not. She has some really interesting um, textures, formulas, all that in here, but it's fun to play with. Quite honestly, if you just want to like roll up your sleeves, get down and dirty and play with some interesting deep, dark colors, this palette is fun to do that. I really like playing around in it. But yeah, definitely a grungy type palette. I feel like aside from like the blue and green, um, kind of like cream to matte um, shadows in here, which actually, in my opinion, are not as dark on the eyes as they are in the palette. They're really pretty, but yeah, you would think they would be super duper deep deep dark but in my opinion they're not as dark as they are in the palette but definitely a grungy type palette in my opinion next i have here this nomad this is the berlin underground this was actually my first exposure to nomad cosmetics i had never heard of them until i got this i think in my ipsy box or ipsy bag and i was really confused <laughs> when i first looked at it i was like is that an all shimmer palette? Like, why? But the thing is, there are some like soft mattes, like satin mattes in here. I think this brown might be the only one. And then you have this black with the glitter in it. So you can do a really pretty crease and then just use one of these or a few of these nice, beautiful shimmers. I did like a really smoky green eye look when I used this palette, I believe. And it was gorgeous. It was absolutely gorgeous. I actually think I did like an Ipsy try on using this, but definitely grungy, smoky type palette to me. Beautiful. Next, I have here this Yemoja palette from OPV Beauty. Another palette that I drooled over for years and years. It's a gorgeous palette. It's funny. I was watching my girl DJ's um, haul video. And she was talking about this palette because we we all got it in the boxy pop up and <laughs> how the pictures online are so much more saturated than, you know, when you get the actual palette in real true life. <laughs> it doesn't look like the pictures, but 
it's still a beautiful palette. As you can see, I haven't used mine yet, so, you know, I can't really attest to the formula, but yeah, it's actually really, really pretty. Very, very grungy to me. Um, still along with that kind of neutral with the pop of blue, pop of green, beautiful. Now this is very new to my collection. This is M -M -M Mitchell's, you know, one of his palettes from his new brand. This one, the Made by Mitchell brand. This one, what is this called? Is this the Feet on the Ground? Yeah, Feet on the Ground Pressed Pigment Palette. And I went back and forth with these palettes because the background is very um, distracting to me. But I just couldn't help myself. When they went on sale for like half price for Black Friday, honey, I scooped these up because I love the shadows. If you can ignore the background and just look at the color story, you can see that it's a very, very beautiful color story. And the shimmers look amazing, okay? So, yeah, I definitely would say that this is a palette I will pull to do a grungy eye look. Could you imagine how long my palette collection video will be? Because this is not even half of my palettes. <laughs> okay, so ColourPop came out with these three absolutely gorgeous palettes. And they all are really dark and smoky to me. This is the Baroque. And this one has kind of like the blue, the deep, dark, smoky blue theme to it. Very grungy. This is the Grandeur palette and this one it's like neutral with that green you can even barely even tell that that's like green in the bottom corner really deep dark I'm trying to see if I can get it to where you guys can see that green but yeah deep deep dark green in the corners very pretty and then the ornate which is the red toned um, palette very deep dark smoky grungy type feel to it i also think about the juvia's chocolate mini palette when i think grunge look at that oh those shades are so gorgeous i really loved the eye look that i did with this palette i mixed it with the nudes and it came out so so pretty now this palette from milani is actually i think they're halloween yeah the beautiful nightmare palette and you know it's their halloween themed palette but when i look at it to me it screams do a grungy look <laughs> do a grungy look even with the bright green and blue in there that black to me just you know makes it turn grungy so and that dark blue shimmer very pretty the nomad by juvia's okay this is like grunge central okay look at the colors in here oh, so pretty yeah when i use this palette i love the looks i come up with if i pull this i'm definitely going for something grungy okay now this ratty dusk it's so crazy this is from makeup obsessions and i bought this from target i believe and i've been dying to use this palette look at the colors in here it's so gorgeous to me. It's absolutely beautiful. And I've been dying to use this palette, but I keep forgetting about it. So I think what I'm going to do is pull this out and leave it on my vanity. But this definitely has a grungy feel to it. I think something about deep dark blues and greens and a black say grunge to me. Now this palette here, the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill I went back and forth whether or not I was going to get this back when it came out because of all the drama, but I'm so, so glad I did. <laughs> this one is actually the Dark Magic. I love this. This is the favorite of mine from the four that she came out with. It de It's definitely Deep Dark Magic, <laughs> and I love the looks that I get from this. It's gorgeous. Very grungy. Now, this palette here, the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana, Arcana. I did a whole video duping this palette out because I didn't want to pay for it because it was so pricey to me. And my girl Lily bought this for me and I am so glad she did because this palette is gorgeous. Look at this palette. It's beautiful. 
It is. I know some of you guys watching this video have just as many, if not more palettes than I do. And as I'm showing these palettes, you guys are like, oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Let me pull it out. So yeah, I haven't actually used this one yet, the actual palette. But I, like I said, I have a whole video duping this out, creating an eye look and everything. And I loved that video and the eye look that I came up with. <laughs> but this palette is gorgeous. Look at these shades. Beautiful, beautiful, grungy type palette to me. This is a palette that I picked up from Morphe and it is called the Artistry Palette 18B, Making Bank. Um, I haven't used this palette yet, but I believe Amy loves makeup. Actually, I believe she is the one that got me to buy this palette. I wasn't thinking about this palette, but when she did her video and talked about how much she loved it, I had to have it. So yeah, this is the Make and Bank from Morphe. It's gorgeous. Very beautiful. It's another one of those, you know, kind of like neutral with pop of green, pop of teal palette. So it could fit in that category as well. But it's definitely what I would consider like a grungy type palette. Because when I want to do bright eye looks, I don't pull palettes like this. Even though there's a few bright shades in here. I wouldn't pull this for a bright eye look. I would pull this for a dark grungy one. So yeah, very grungy feel to me. Are you guys taking a drink every time I say grungy? <laughs> this NYX Utopia palette. Oh, I love this palette. Ah, this is gorgeous. Look at this. This is beautiful. So beautiful. And I was kind of like irritated when Nick started charging like $35 or however much it was for this palette. I bought it on sale. No, I didn't. I probably bought this when it dropped knowing me. But <laughs> all, all of these type of palettes went on sale. But yeah, this palette is bomb. Okay. And the quality is really nice. Okay. So... I mean, you figure this is what, like a 40 pan palette, even for $35, that's a really good deal because it's less than a dollar a shadow. But this palette says grunge to me all the way grunge. Okay. Um, I did do a video creating a look with this. So if you want to check it out, check it out. But yeah, this palette is gorgeous. Okay, so we're almost at the end of my grungy themed palettes. This one is the main event from Morphe. And this is one that I wasn't really sure. You know what? I don't know. It got like mixed, mixed feelings, mixed reviews from people. And when I saw it, I was like, I want it. But because it was so many mixed reviews, I was like, mm, do I want it? <laughs> but I'm so glad I did get it just to play with it. I actually love the eye look that I created with it. Down here, you have these water activated liners, which was new to me. That was my first taste of water activated liners and I love it, okay? So yeah, and the colors in here, very retro, very different, very grungy, you know. I feel like this palette is for someone who likes to kind of explore with different non-conventional types of shades definitely i really like it i don't care for all the glitters of course it's just like wasted space to me but all the other shades very pretty i think down here this area is like my favorite so yeah i love this palette and lastly one i wanted to show <laughs> what kind of like my grungy feeling palette these are some of my Adept Cosmetic shadows. Not all of them, but some. And I just kind of arranged them in this palette in a way that's kind of like just visually pleasing to me. And it is, I love it. But when I look at this, it, it makes me feel like I want to do something dark and grungy. It really does. These shimmers, absolutely gorgeous. The mattes in here that I, you know, put are like dark, smoky, beautiful. So yeah, these are just some of my Adept shadows and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so after that last segment, you would probably think that grungy type palettes are my absolute favorite. I love them, but if you know me, <laughs> my absolute favorite type of palette is a rainbow. Okay, so I have a lot of colorful palettes in my collection. 
And I kind of feel like actual rainbow palettes are different than just colorful palettes, but um, I tried to pull the majority of my rainbow palettes, which I would say have every single color of the rainbow in them, just to kind of show you some different rainbow palettes. So this is one that I have from Ace Beauty. Ace Beauty. This is their Slice of Paradise. Um, gorgeous, okay? So while I feel like eh, this might not necessarily be a rainbow palette because there's no red in here it does have every other color you know orange yellow green blue purple to compromise to compromise to comprise a rainbow palette did y'all hear my stomach growl i am hungry anyway so yeah this is the ace Beauté slice of paradise absolutely gorgeous Next, I have here Into the Tropics, another new indie brand that I came across this year, Beauty Dame. I found so many new indie brands this year. Um, yeah, actually, um, this is the one that has the picture of the owner on it. Very cool. But yeah, I came across so many different indie brands this year. I have so many palettes that I need to try out in 2021, but this is gorgeous so pretty look at that i love the layout love the colors love the whole aesthetic of this palette it's very pretty this one is radioactive from melt cosmetics <laughs> i always forget about this palette because when i think of melt i think of you know their grungy palettes but yeah i picked this one up probably on sale haven't used it yet but it's gorgeous not your typical rainbow you know but very bright very pretty now, this is a straight up rainbow palette that I love from BH Cosmetics, Trendy in Tokyo. Super duper surprised at the quality from this palette. It's gorgeous. The quality is amazing. And it's definitely a rainbow palette that I reach for if I want to do a rainbow look. Next, I have here Bright Blooms from Color Story. I believe I picked this up from Target. This is a pressed pigment palette. Um... It's gorgeous. I've used some other palettes from this brand. The quality is just okay to me. It's it's not remarkable. It's just okay. Definitely feel like the BH Cosmetics is better quality, but their shadows, they're decent. They're decent. This one is the Slush Palette from September Rose. I honestly feel like I've only used this like once, maybe twice, because I don't really know how I feel about it. I, I I'm assuming it's okay. But I don't remember how I feel about it. I need to use it again to really know and remember how I feel about it. But it's pretty. It is gorgeous. This one is the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments and Shadows. Not my favorite. <laughs> Not my favorite. Um, I feel like a lot of people love these shadows, love this palette. I don't know. I'll try it again. I will try it again, but yeah, it's not my favorite. Not at all. This is the Remember Me from Amoris. Straight up rainbow. Beautiful, beautiful shades. Um, I feel like they have some of the most amazing color stories from Amoris. This palette here, I honestly don't think I've used. I know I've swatched it and it's swatched decently enough. But as far as the quality goes, I can't really speak to it, but it's really pretty. Now, this palette here from Makeup Shack, this is the Rainforest palette. I'll probably use this palette <laughs> a good 10, 20 times because I love it so much. I love this palette, <laughs> I do. I love the color story. I love the quality. I love the variety. Yeah, this is one of my favorite colorful palettes, you guys. It's really, really pretty. I used it a lot when I first got it. But um, yeah, since I've gotten so many other colorful rainbow type palettes, I haven't really used it as much. But yeah, it's really pretty. I don't know why they didn't do the packaging a little bit more colorful. But, you know, it's just a personal opinion. Now this one here from Moira, this is the Sweet Paradise. I'm just kind of getting familiar with Moira this year. This is the Destiny Eye and Face Palette. Um, some products I've tried from them, I've liked. Other ones, not so much. Um, 
but this palette is really pretty haven't tried it as of yet but i anticipate that it's going to be a fairly decent palette i've seen some videos of people loving their formula so i can't wait to try it out this one was one of the more colorful palettes that i picked out so i think it's pretty this here the beauty glazed color fusion over the rainbow palette okay every time i talk about this palette i always talk about how shocked i was at the quality quality was bomb very surprising i mean super pigmented easy to blend as you can see it's just like a kind of like array of the same shades definitely a basic rainbow palette but it is really really gorgeous and i think for an affordable colorful rainbow type palette this is a good buy next i have here another profusion palette this is the festival um i don't know if they have a more rainbow themed palette than this one <clears throat> they might aside from their small one i do have their small one but for larger ones, I think this one is the most rainbow-esque palette I have from them. Very beautiful, very colorful. I think my girl DJ did about 20 looks using this palette <laughs> in one of her videos. I always tease her about that. But yeah, she went ham with this palette. If you're curious about how it performs, check out uh, Just Peachy D because she did do several looks using this palette. This one here is the painter, Painter's Palette from Glam Light. If I can open this huge baby up. This is what it looks like. Um, yeah, very colorful as you can see. Rainbow Palette is starting to leak right here into the palette like most of their palettes do for some of their shimmers. But yeah, this is a gorgeous palette. It's really large. I can barely get it into the frame but beautiful beautiful rainbow palette i don't know i mean it's not like my favorite rainbow palette to use but it is really pretty their shimmers are gorgeous gorgeous you see them shimmers beautiful okay i do have the morphe and james charles palette why is it so dirty because i barely use it <laughs> But yeah, this is my Morphe and James Charles Palace, if I can get it in the frame. Okay, there we go. Beautiful rainbow palette. I've only used it like once or twice. Um, It's okay. I mean, I don't see what all the hubbub is about, but it's okay. Really pretty. A lot of unnecessary neutrals, but it's pretty. Okay, next I have here this Dia y Noche palette from JCat. It says Peak Time 15 Pigment Palette. When I saw this palette um, at Ulta, I couldn't resist it. I had this thing in and out of my cart, in and out of my cart, in and out of my cart. And JCAT is so affordable that I finally just pulled the trigger. <laughs> but after I swatched it, I was like, mm, why did I buy that? <laughs> so yeah, I'm not really moved to play with this palette at all just because of how it's swatched. It swatched really bad to me. So this is what I'm probably going to end up giving to my daughter and letting her play around with it. Let her play around with it until she, you know, gets tired of it. But yeah, I have that. Next, I have here this Spectrum palette from Profusion. This is the one I was alluding to earlier. And this is actually one of my favorite affordable rainbow type palettes. Um, it's very pretty, very nice. I did use this in a video, kind of doing like a comparison with this against the, was it the Colored Rain, I believe? And this one held its own in there. So yeah, this is a very nice, affordable, rainbow-themed palette. Next, I have here the Revolution Times Tammy Tropical Carnival Eyeshadow Palette. Very, very pretty packaging. And this is what the palette looks like. Beautiful colors in here. Very nice rainbow themed palette. And I love Tammy. She's very, very funny and extremely talented. Next here, I have another rainbow colored palette from Revolution. This was part of that Wild Animal Palette collection that we looked at earlier. 
This one is Integrity. Beautiful zebra print. And these are the colors. So it's not your conventional rainbow palette, but it is a very beautiful, colorful palette. It does have red, orange, yellow, green, blue. No purple, though. I don't see. Oh, yeah, there's a shimmery purple up there. So, yeah, it's a rainbow. <laughs> very pretty. Now, this palette here are favorite things from my girl DJ's Unique Boutique. She came out with this palette earlier this year. Absolutely gorgeous. A rainbow palette. Look at this. Look. Look at this palette. <laughs> Has some gorgeous neutral tones and shimmers in there as well. Sorry, mine's a little beat up. Okay, but yeah. Beautiful beautiful rainbow palette so yeah check it out dj's unique boutique i have this palette here the elf and jay kissa to the rescue collab palette and i believe proceeds from this palette went to rescue shelters for dogs or pets or animals um this palette is gorgeous look at this absolutely gorgeous i know i got mixed reviews i mean it's elf you know give me a break <laughs> You're not going to get Natasha Denona quality from an e.l.f. palette. But yeah, I, I worked with it. It worked fine for me, Um, but it's gorgeous. I love how they laid this palette out and set it up. It's beautiful. And it came with these little stickers so that, you know, you could decorate your own palette. My dog's name is Bosco, so I put Bosco on here. And I think it's really cute. So yeah, I like this palette. Next, I have this palette from C Color Cosmetics. It's a 14 color pressed pigment palette uh, called Jungle Fever. I grabbed this palette when I saw it. I thought it was gorgeous. They do a lot of dupe palettes, so I still haven't been able to figure out if this is a dupe for anything or if this is their own palette that they came up with. Honey, I don't know, but it's pretty. It's really pretty. Um, have I used any C Color palettes to... Be familiar with the quality i'm not sure at this moment I'm not sure but this is really pretty i would definitely do a colorful bright look with this okay so now we have reached some color pop beautiful rainbow palettes i always forget the name of this palette because this is one of their you know once again palettes they created with their singles and it's their rainbow themed palette i have this on my instagram so if you want to know the name of it, you can check it out there. But gorgeous rainbow shades. There they go with them glitters again. But this palette is really pretty. Also have this Fade Into Hue. My newest rainbow palette from ColourPop that they came out with. Absolutely gorgeous. This is pretty. Really pretty. My girl Lily, Lily Living Life here on YouTube. She did absolutely gorgeous look using this palette so check it out be perfect carnival three love tahiti okay i'm supposed to be using this palette for my shop my stash you guys what is up why haven't i used this palette <laughs> y'all tell me honey because it's gorgeous look at this i was a little irritated when i first got it because it took them forever and three years to send it to me but once i got it <laughs> I kind of softened up. You know how you feel when you're mad at your dude and then he brings you Chipotle? That's how I felt after I opened it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, we cool, we cool. But it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I need to use this, like for real. Next, I have here this palette from GLF Cosmetics. This is a collab they did with J Dez TV. Don't know who she is, but it's a cute little palette, okay? It's kind of like a kitty a kitty themed palette to me you know i got the little rainbow on there unicorn party but the shadows are pretty though okay <laughs> so i'll be a kid today honey because these colors are really really pretty so i need to use this though because i'm not familiar with glf's formula but it's really pretty okay really pretty this is a palette that i have from sample beauty this was their original equalizer palette mm. Eh, this palette is just okay. I was not all that impressed when I used it. It's just okay to me. It, it's not horrible, but it's not. 
I would never think to reach for this to create a colorful look ever again. <laughs> so <laughs> my daughter might be getting this as well because it was just okay to me. Next, I have this Eye Cravens Radiant Eyeshadow Palette. Ooh, another indie brand that I came across this year. Um, they're cruelty free. This is a huge palette, you guys. It's really big. Um, yeah, I'm not that familiar with the brand, but honey, this palette is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at these colors. Oh, that's pretty. I love going through my collection and just looking at my palettes. Y'all know I love eyeshadow. So, yeah, it's beautiful. This is the Glam Light Cake Palette. Look at this. <laughs> Glam Light goes all out with their packaging, okay? You give them a theme and they just go ham with it. This is really pretty, though. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Look at that. I know I'm getting tired, y'all, because I am, like, delirious right now looking at these colors. Dang, that's so pretty. Look at that. The shimmers, the green in the bottom corner, even that brown and that gold. So beautiful. Listen. Ooh, gorgeous. The Sample Beauty Painters palette. Very new to my collection. I guess it says by Beth Painter. This palette is really pretty as well. Um... Yeah, I'm really, really anxious to try out this formula because, you know, I don't know. With Sample Beauty, they've been a little bit hit and miss for me, but I really, really want to try this out. It has some really deep, dark, colorful shades in here, so very pretty. This is the Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette. I'm assuming they have a bright palette that has shimmers in it oh this thing is huge sheesh but look at the colors in here it's gorgeous another really pretty colorful palette if you um you know are looking for an all matte colorful palette beauty base shadows are really really good and extremely affordable so yeah i really really like this it's gorgeous Okay, so listen, if you don't already know, Playing in Makeup by Yolando is one of my favorite brands for colorful eyeshadow palettes. Oh my goodness, she makes the most beautiful eyeshadow palettes, extremely pigmented and just gorgeous. So I might have every palette that she did. Not sure, but I might. This one is the Jamrock Rebirth eyeshadow palette. And this is what this one looks like. Do you see why I love her color stories and her shadows? Do you see the colors in this palette? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Beautiful. This is the Jamrock Universal. Universal. Universal eyeshadow palette. Look at this. Do you see that? Beautiful. This is like the type of palette that you would take just like on vacation or something because you don't need anything else this is all you need this is everything that you need gorgeous this is the jam rock no limitations yeah this used to be like one of my absolute favorites i think this might have been one of my first palettes from her look at that it's so earthy this is another grungy grungy type palette in my opinion oh is so beautiful does anybody feel the same way about these colors as i do honey because these are gorgeous i wasn't supposed to talk during this video i'm talking through the whole thing okay this is jam rock jam rock very colorful all matte highly pigmented shadows okay absolutely beautiful this is one of the newer ones um, Artistry Vault by Melissa, a collab palette. She had this one on sale during the holidays, even before the holidays. I don't know if it's still on sale, but she had this on sale for the longest. I love that bottom row. That bottom row just says deep, dark grunge to me. But that blue and green in the top, oh, and then you got your pink and purple and so many beautiful neutrals. This is a gorgeous color story. It is really pretty.
This one, Beats by Deb, The Beat Down. <laughs> I love saying it, The Beat Down. But yeah, look at this. She made sure to have that green, blue, and purple color story in here, okay? Artist After My Own Heart. This palette is gorgeous. Yeah, this could definitely go with that same color story as well. The greens, the blues, the purples, all up in there, okay? I got the Jam Rock Colored Wasashana, Wasishana palette. This is the pastel. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You want a pastel palette that's for women of color? Honey, this is it, okay? Because, you know, we like pastels, but we need a little bit of oomph in them pastels as well, okay? So, this is gorgeous. Yes, ma'am. And that's more of like, I know I'm supposed to be doing rainbow palettes. That's a pastel rainbow, okay? <laughs> so, this is Jam Rock Extreme. And this one is one that has glitters, you know, beautiful bright colors. You know, it, it's truly extreme. It takes it to, you know, a whole nother level with the jam rock. Okay, so this one is gorgeous as well. If you like glitter, very, very beautiful. Okay, we're on the home stretch. I only have a few more. This is my Revolution and Alexis Stone Instinct Palette. <laughs> Funny story, I bought this palette being cheap <laughs> because I really, really wanted the Viseart, you know, palette that has all the different colors in it, but I didn't want to pay the Viseart price. So I bought this just to kind of, you know, scratch that itch. And I guess it worked because I still haven't bought the Viseart palette, <laughs> but this palette is okay. It's okay. I think for the price and for what it is, it's decent enough. It's not anything amazing or remarkable, but, you know, for Revolution, it's actually decent because I tried some Revolution palettes that are just absolutely horrible, but this isn't one of them. So, yeah, very cool rainbow palette. I have, wait, let me put these together since these are a box of crayon. So, I have here... This box of crayon eyeshadow palettes. I think, was this their first palette that they came out with? Yeah. So, very, very pretty. Beautiful color story. All the colors in the crayon box. You know, simple names. Red, yellow, orange, blue, green, purple. <laughs> but it is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. This blue here, I think it's kind of going bad maybe because um, when I tried to use it not too long ago, it wasn't the best, but all the other shimmers are just fine. So I've had it for a while. So, you know, it is what it is. This is the matte book from the crayon case. So this is the all matte palette from them. And this is what she looks like. Super colorful, same rainbow shades, but there's some nice um, kind of like bronzing and contour shades at the bottom that you can use as well. So I think that's pretty cool how they did that with this palette, but yeah, very, very nice. All matte. This was my first Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro Palette Stacy Marie collab. This one was the second one. I never had the first one. I just picked up the second one. And this is absolutely one of my favorite palettes in my whole collection. I love the feel and colors in here. It's bright, beautiful, colorful, extremely pigmented, okay? Has the beautiful highlights in there as well. And it's like a rainbow palette, but you also get your neutrals. You have your cool tones your warm tones. You have a nice variation of blues in here, a nice variation of purples, your sunset shades, oranges and yellows. So it gives you more variety in my opinion than just your average rainbow palette. It's so pretty. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. I haven't used the other one yet, but I feel like I'm still going to love this one more than the three. And the last palette that I wanted to show for my rainbow or colorful feel vibe <laughs> type palettes is this Cara Beauty Dust to Dawn. 
this one has a reflective background so it's kind of hard to see but as you can see here very colorful very beautiful this one has this nice array of grays and silvers down at the bottom which i absolutely love because those definitely come in handy when you want to do like a gray eye look and you don't have a gray palette those are perfect so yeah this definitely has the blues the purples the pinks but the reason why I threw it in with my rainbow is because you can see they put red, yellow, orange. They put everything in here. I think it's just missing green, to be honest with you. They put more of the aqua shades in here as opposed to a green. But this palette is really, really pretty. And I like it a lot. Okay, you guys. So that is it for this video <laughs> of me running through a lot of my palettes just kind of talking about certain themes color stories that I'm drawn to as you can see that was a lot of palettes and I would just show you guys you know the remaining palettes that I have to show you to do a palette collection video okay so these are <laughs> just some of the palettes that I didn't even pull you know to talk about in this video as you can see they just they don't stop you know even coming across here I have more down here more over here so yeah I have a lot of palettes and shadows to talk to you guys about and show you in my palette collection video so just stay tuned it's gonna take me quite a while to do that but I'm kind of looking forward to it so thank you so much for hanging out with me for this video and I will see you on my next one toodles